list down all the tips I can give you all. That might help you to improve your MM2 skills, especially in Sheriff and Murderer role. Don't pull out your gun too early in the game, it can just leave you being targeted by the murderer. Here's an example. Predict your shots. This is helpful especially when the murd aren't just walking straight. Here's an example. I know she's going in this way so I just waited her to come out. Here's my cursor waiting for her to climb up the ladder. She's going on this side. Always keep an eye to the murderer when they are throwing to also dodge the knife. Here's an example on what I recommend you to do and what to avoid. Don't spam jump or you will be easily killed. You'll also going to have a hard time shooting murder because you can't see them properly. Instead, you can just dodge it by walking or moving side to side. Keeping an eye to the murd can avoid you getting jump scared, since murderer will probably stop following you to go the other way where you are going. Here's an example. You should always check if the murderer is still following you. Otherwise, this is what will happen to you if you don't check. Another example of not keeping an eye to the murd. Jump scare again. Now, this is what you guys should do. Looks like she went in the other way because she stopped following me. Now, check both sides. Don't trust anyone especially when the murderer is not doing his or her task yet. Stay away from people as much as possible. Try using third person only at the beginning of the round to know if other players is near you or following you. Wearing headphones and earphones can help you a lot to know or sense where's the sheriff or murderer. Stay calm. I know this is so hard to do, like to be honest, even I, sometimes can't do it. But I know being calm as possible can help you focus to the game because if you're stressing out, your hand might shake that will lead you to failed shots or throws. Here's an example. Be unpredictable. You can use zigzag pattern when walking as a murderer, innocent, or sheriff, but since other player knows that pattern, you can include some jumps with it. Be attentive to gun reloads of sheriff and throwing animation of murderer, to know also when to jump and to avoid just spam jumping. 
Here's an example. The gun is reloading so you can calm. The shift lock advantage. You can use shift lock to look through some walls. We can't avoid not wall camping in this game, since other players use that as their techniques to win. Shift lock can help you sometimes to know if the murderer is wall camping. Here's an example. I shot a wall to trick Murd that I'm also wall camping. Use a perk according to the maps. I recommend using haste for small maps like House 2, Mansion 2, Office 3, etc. On the other hand, I recommend using X-Ray for big maps like Mill Base, Research Facility, Bio Lab, Factory, Hotel, etc. But still, it depends on you since I can still say that other perks can be so helpful depending on how you use it like a perk ghost and haste to big maps. Don't spam jump. Here's an example of what you will end up if you just spam jump. Predict where innocents or sheriff are going. Here's an example. I know she will jump in this direction so I throw here. That's it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Also, I hope you all find this video helpful. 